Dimitri Mendeleev in Russia 1869 and Lothar Mayer in Germany 1870 independently recognized that there was a periodic relationship among the properties of the elements known at that time. Both published tables with the elements arranged according to increased atomic mass. But Mendeleev went one step farther than Mayer. He used his table to predict the existence of elements that would have the properties similar to aluminium and silicon, but were yet unknown. The discoveries of gallium 1875 and germanium 1886 provided great support for Mendeleev's work. Although Mendeleev and Mayer had a long dispute over priority, Mendeleev's contributions to the development of the periodic table are now more widely recognized. So in this figure you have watched Dmitry Mendeleev's he was widely spread about the periodic table from the N elements, which is, can be categorized with the group period or series with the vertical column and the horizontal column, which he stated the earlier time of the periodic table and their classifications. Okay, by the 20th century, it became apparent that the periodic table relationship involved atomic numbers rather than atomic masses. The modern statement of this relationship, the periodic law, is as follows. The properties of the elements are periodic functions. Of their atomic numbers, a modern periodic table arranges the elements in increasing order of atomic number and groups atoms with similar properties in the same vertical column. In each box it represents an element and contains its atomic number, symbol, average atomic mass, and sometimes name. The elements are arranged in seven horizontal rows called parrots or series, and eighteen vertical columns called groups. Groups are labeled at the top of each column in the United States. The labels traditionally were numerals with capital letters, however, EU PAC recommends that the numbers 1 through 18 be used, and the labels are more common for the table to fit on a single page parts of two of the rows. A total of 14 columns are usually written below the main body of the table. So, in the periodic table of the elements which is included with the one with the atomic number, H is the hydrogen and the 1.008 indicates the atomic mass and the name of the hydrogen. And the color codes can conclude with the metal, metalloid and non-metal and their phases. In the periodic table of the elements with the main group is included the S block, D block, P block, and F block. S block, we say that it is the alkali metals and the alkali earth metals, while D block is the transition metals. Whereas P block, it's known as pnictogens, chalcogens, halogens, and noble gas. Where, whereas F block, it includes with the rare earth metals like lanthanides and actinides. Many elements differ dramatically in their chemical and physical properties. But some elements are similar in their behaviors. For example, many elements appear shiny, are malleable, able to be deformed without breaking, and ductile can be drawn into wires and conduct heat and electricity well. Other elements are not shiny, malleable, or ductile, and are poor conductors of heat and electricity. We can sort the elements into large classes with common properties metals, elements that are shiny, malleable, good conductors of heat and electricity, shaded yellow, but non-metals, elements that appear dull, poor conductors of heat and electricity, shaded greens, and metalloids, elements that conduct heat and electricity moderately well, and possesses some properties of metals and some properties of non-metals, shaded purple. The elements can also be classified into the main group elements or representative elements. In the columns labeled 1, 2, and 13, 18, the transition metals in the columns labeled 3, 12. And the inner transition metals in the two rows at the bottom of the table, the top row elements are called lanthanides, and the bottom row elements are actinides. The elements can be subdivided further by more specific properties, such as the composition of the compounds they form. For example, the elements in group 1, the first column, form compounds that consist of one atom of the element and one atom of hydrogen. These elements except hydrogen are known as alkali metals and they all have similar chemical properties. The, the elements in group 2, the second column, form a compound consisting of one atom of the uh, element and two atoms of hydrogen. These are called alkaline earth metals with similar properties among members of that group. Other groups with the specific names are the Pnictogens group 15, chalcogens group 16, halogens group 17, and the noble gases group 18, also known as inert gases. The groups 
can also be referred to by the first element of the group. For example, the chalcogens can be called the oxygen group or oxygen family. Hydrogen is a unique non-metallic element with properties similar to both group 1A and group 7A elements. For that reason, hydrogen may be shown at the top of both groups or by itself. In the naming groups of elements, atoms of each of the following elements are essential for life. Give the group name for the following elements. The first is chlorine, the second is calcium, the third is sodium, the fourth is sulfur. So can you explain the group names in the periodic table of the classification element? The family names for group of chlorine is halogen, and the group name of calcium is alkaline earth metal, and the, and the sodium for group name is alkali metal, and the sulfur is the chalcogen. periodic table you might have noticed something about the atomic masses of some of the elements element 43 technetium and element 61 promethium and most of the elements with atomic number 84 polonium and higher have their atomic mass given in square brackets this is done for elements that consist entirely of unstable radioactive isotopes you will learn more about radioactivity in the nuclear chapter chemistry chapter an average atomic weight cannot be determined for these elements because their radioisotopes may vary significantly in relative abundance. Depending on the source or may not even exist in nature, the number in square brackets is the atomic mass number, an approximate atomic mass.